<clears throat> Hello there, only one Kenobi here, only one, and this is the penultimate episode of the entire Vintage Collection Quickshot series, or at least part one. And it's VC-114, Aramako, aka Pruneface, or formerly known as Pruneface. Yeah, I don't have him loose, but I thought, you know, since it's the penultimate episode, I thought I'd give you something, so I thought I'd whip out the a power of the... This is the only one I have for... Prune face, the power of the force, two figure. I did have prune face as a kid, you know, and I'll never forget having him in my little toy box. Sadly, I don't have that one loose. That would be nice to have. But again, like with all these figures in the last part of the vintage collection, they're quite costly. So it took me a while to acquire this one, and I'm not altogether happy with this one here. It's got that kind of, well, it's not that bad, actually. I thought the crease was bigger than that, but it has a crease on the card. But, you know, when it's in a star case, it's. It's not that noticeable, plus it is unpunched, that one. Anything on the back of any creases on there? Nah, it's all right. So, there you are. So, as I say, I'll show you that figure later. It's not really something I do that. In this series, anyway, I've really focused on the card backs and the figure if I have it loose. And occasionally I've thrown in a couple of figures. Like when I did the Phantom Menace figures, I, I definitely showed you the 1999 equivalents of what they were. You know, the, just to sort of expand the series a bit but anyway this guy let's talk about prune face or um when i had him as a kid i used to look at him and think he was just well obviously he's an alien i didn't quite know who he was as a kid i always just guessed he was someone because it's obviously return of the jedi maybe a jabber entourage member or something but actually he's not he's not a bad guy he's supposedly a good guy and i think he's supposed to be on this car back here is that him in the the rebel briefing room or something like that? I don't know. But there's him and there's another guy also who wears an eye patch. I think he does. Um, they're rebels. They're spies or something. I don't know. But anyway, he looks like a bad guy. It's the eye patch that does it, isn't it? But anyway, the figure's brilliant. Look at that one. See? Very nice. Slimmed out. Strimmed. Strimmed. Trimmed down, I guess. In Because, well, God, this guy's power of the force too. So that means he's like steroid -y. I'll come to him in a minute. Anyway, so it's nicely scaled and nice soft goods there. I would like it loose, but, um, you know, all in good time. One day I'll get it. I want to talk to you about the car back because, you know, uh, apparently the word was that some of the car backs, like the weak way I've just reviewed, apparently that had been updated. I had no idea. I thought the weak way card was an exact replica of what it was in the 80s, but someone was telling me that, They'd cleaned it up, and I know they've done that on a lot of the vintage cards of the modern era. They've taken the 80s image and cleaned it up a lot. But this one here looks like it would have been in the 80s, you know, because it's got like this, it's almost like it's an artistic rendering of a photograph or they've done something to it to make it look, I don't know, I can't describe it. I don't know, I can't find the words. It's quite late at night when I, when I film this, but it looks kind of grainy. Or it's like a photocopy of a photocopy, you know what I mean? That kind of quality. But still, for whatever reason, it's an iconic card back. And I don't know if that's because everyone owned one or lots of people. I definitely owned one. Must have been, well, the age I am, anyone who bought me figures, because I never bought my own at that age, I would have been very young. Well, I was two years old when the film came out. And I think the figures were still sort of, Coming my way in around about 1985, my first sort of year of school, and someone would have seen them in the shops and bought them. And obviously, I loved Star Wars at that age. Uh, they were—I can imagine someone like him being a peg warmer for some reason. I don't know why, because he's not really a main character. He's not even seen, is he? I don't think you actually see him. Like blinking, you'll miss it, job. So anyway, as you, as I said, the VC 114. So it's the penultimate episode in the series. If we split it up into Two halves, should we say. This first part of the vintage collection between 01 Dengar and 115 Vader is part one. And it was part one for a lot of people. That was the first vintage collection. It lasted two years between 2010 and 2012. And part two was from 2018 onwards. And I sort of made my channel just before 2018 hit. In 2017, I started my channel to speculate about what we could and should be having in the vintage collection. And... We've had a lot of good stuff, my God, indeed we have, but there's a lot of stuff yet to, to come, I'd hope, for lots of card backs I need to see. 
um, you know, Dooku, oh God, I keep banging the same drum, Dooku, Bib Fortuna, just to name a couple. But anyway, let's just have a quick look before we finish it. This Power of the Force 2, which I got in a job lot because I think I got this guy. He came included with a Bib Fortuna from the Power of the Force 2 that I'd auctioned for. But one thing that's really good about this guy is the facial sculpt. And I remember as a kid him being quite an interesting thing to look at. It's like almost like an E.T. head, isn't it? But there he is. But the plastic cape doesn't really do it a lot of favours. He's not as bulky as most Power of the Force 2 figures, but the cape is just a bit too thick or something. But anyway, but that's, that's our Marco, ladies and gentlemen. A classic. A.K.A. Prune Face. And that reminds me, with Yak Face, the one we got last year, 2019, the Yak Face was brilliant, but it would have been nice if they put Yak Face in brackets for him. I know they had the Sail Marae card and then they had the Yak Face card, but on the actual Sail Marae, on the standard ROTJ, damn it, Hasbro, I wish you'd put, I wish you'd put um, Yak Face in brackets, if that makes sense. All right, then, as I say, it's getting late, so I'm getting tired and the, le the, the last episode is coming up. I shall film that now. Awesome. Join me for that in the next episode. <laughs> I'm losing it. I better stop this now before I dig myself into a bigger hole. This has been only one Kenobi. Only one. <laughs>